The Benchmade line is Ariat's attempt at making a higher quality boot with higher quality materials. And today I have a Roper style boot called the Clanton, which uses all American bison leather. Let's break down the details of this boot in this quick impression video. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you again for joining me on this channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below as well. I really appreciate your views. I've had a lot of requests from you guys out there to do a video about Benchmade Ariat boots. And they were kind enough to send me this pair of boots and also sponsor this video. So without further ado, let's break down the details of this Clanton boot with the rundown. All right, this is the Clanton boot from Ariat's Benchmade line, and it's a Roper style boot using all American bison on the foot, counter, and the shaft. And you can just see that incredible bison leather grain too. Each boot is going to be different because Leather is a natural product and each hide has its own distinctive grain. And this particular model is in the saddle brown color. It also features a roper round toe, a classic look, no toe bug. This is just a plain boot and it looks great. It comes in at 10 inches tall with a little bit of stitching around the collar, but for the most part, it's just a plain leather top. There's also a little bit of bison inlay here in the pull tabs for a little bit extra design. And down here for a heel, we have an inch and a quarter stacked leather heel. This is a Roper style or a Stockman heel. It looks really nice too. And for an outsole, we have a leather outsole and this is an 11 iron leather outsole. So it's pretty stiff. It might take a little bit extra work to break in this leather outsole, but it will also last you quite a bit longer than lesser quality leather outsoles. You can also see that it's stitched all the way around and there are no lemon wood pegs or brass nails alongside the shank here. That's pretty normal and you get the same quality, same durability as a boot that does use lemon wood pegs or brass nails in here. A lot of Roper style boots don't do that at all. In fact, Justin doesn't use that on their Roper boots and a lot of Lucases stitch all the way around as well. On the inside, it's a super soft calfskin leather. That's one of the softest leathers that you can get for a leather lining on the inside of cowboy boots. And it kind of surprised me that they sprung for calfskin for a lining. And for an insole, we have a classic area insole, except this one is topped with leather instead. So it feels really soft on the top. Then underneath that, we have a traditional hard leather footbed, which is really surprising to me. I did not expect to see that. And they also have their own rundown stamped in that hard leather insole, <laughs> as you can see. And at the end, they say, bring it. Well, it seems to me like Ariat brought it indeed. Ariat Benchmade boots are made in Mexico, and this Clanton is coming in at $269.95 at Ariat.com. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on the Ariat Benchmade boots right now and that bison feels incredible. It's pretty thick, okay? It's not as supple as some other leathers that you're gonna try, especially from Ariat or, you know, but it's not as thick as some other leathers that you're gonna try from Ariat either. I mean, I've tried boots where the leather has never broken in. This feels nice. It feels like it's gonna break in really well, but it also is thick and durable feeling. You can also see that when I bend the boot, you're getting a little bit of pull up. So the leather gets lighter where I bend the boot the most. And that's normal with oiled leathers like this. So it'll eventually redistribute throughout the entire boot and go away. But as you're breaking in these boots, you'll see lighter areas break through. It's just normal and part of the break-in process. Look at how narrow the tops are on these Roper boots, which is nice because compared to some other area Ropers that I have, the tops are super wide. So I like the fact that they paid attention to this and 
made it a little bit easier to wear with several different kinds of jeans. Now that we've seen the tops, let's pull over the jeans to see what they're gonna look like just wearing them normal. All right, it feels awesome. The insole is really nice. The leather outsole does feel pretty stiff, so it's gonna take some break in. That 11 iron leather outsole is, can be, it can be really difficult to break in, guys. But thankfully, this also has an insert. It's got some cushion in there, so it's not gonna be as hard to break in as just a full traditionally made boot that uses an 11 iron outsole. This doesn't feel like an Ariat at all. I'm very surprised. This is very different. Benchmade is completely different. If you've tried Ariats before and you're like, mm, I'm not sure. Even if you tried Ariats from Mexico and you're like, eh, been there, done that. This feels very different from the Relentless line, from the Circuit Pro line. Both of those lines are made in Mexico. This is not an Ariat. This doesn't feel like an Ariat at all. And if you've tried Benchmade and other Ariats, let me know if you agree down in the comments. This is very, very different. And <laughs> it feels like they're trying to compete with brands like Tacovas or other direct-to-consumer uh, brands out there that only are available online because that's what this is too. This is only available online and it looks really good and feels great. I'm impressed with this. Looking forward to breaking this in. Here's the POV. You can see it's just a normal looking boot. You can see that the colors are changing where the boot bends the most at the moment. But like I mentioned, that will eventually go back to brown as the oils redistribute throughout the boot. It's just a break in process thing. Gotta love that round toe too. It's a very simple look and I like it. All right, it's time for me to wrap up my quick impression thoughts of this Ariat Benchmade Clayton boot. And it's really impressive. Unlike any other Ariat that I've ever tried, as I said, because the leather is so much different. The American Bison, I've never tried an Ariat that uses such high quality leather. The fact that they're using calfskin lining, super soft. I've said it before in my videos, you know, calfskin is some of the best and softest leather lining that you can use in cowboy boots. And it's so, so soft. The only thing that I wish that they did with this is that they made more width sizes. So I'm a true 12B. This is a 11D, they don't have B widths, but it's not unordinary for Ariat to have B widths. I have their Ariat Heritage Roper, which comes in a B width and it fits perfect. So the fact that they don't have B widths in this Benchmade line is a little disappointing because I would love to see that carry over from some of their other lines and try this in a size that is my true size. But still, this fits similar to other 11Ds in the market. You know, it's very similar to Tacovas, it's very similar to Anderson Bean, Hondo. So this 11D is pretty much true to size, I would say, but let me know your experience if you try Ariat Benchmade boots as well. I like the fact that the top is more narrow. Ariat is notorious for making these super wide tops that you can't fit any jeans over and it always looks awful. But this is going to look good with a lot of different kinds of jeans. And I like the fact that they paid attention to making this top a little bit more narrow for that reason. Overall, I think you're getting a lot here for around $270. And I'm kind of impressed that they're able to offer all of this for $270, especially with the hard leather footbed inside too. And I love the fact that they called out everybody by saying, bring it. They stamped it right inside their boot. And they definitely brought it with this boot. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks again to Ariat for sponsoring this video today. I really appreciate their support and it helps me continue making videos for all of you guys at home. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I will see you next time. Peace. Ariat Benchmade seems like an Ariat upgrade and I'm hoping that it's here to stay. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other Ariat video up here? 
or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe over here and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.